Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day. I don't know. Eight thirty in the morning, and I'm tired as fuck. Eight thirty-two. Eight thirty-two. And Josh has annoyed me. I want to say ten times already this morning. Yeah. But he's also really nice. He's just trying to be nice and awake. And he started singing to me right when I opened my eyes. And it was really cute. But I wanted to punch him in his shit. <laughs> but today I have a busy day. So I'm going to bring you guys with me. I have dance. I'm picking out appliances. Like, I'm, the, Honestly, the appliance I'm most excited to pick out is a fridge. I don't care about a dishwasher. I don't care about a stove. Okay, I care about a stove. I don't care about a washer and dryer. Me and a fridge have a lot in common. You know that? Not because I'm fat. Why? And I, and I store a lot of food. Why? Because cold. Cold heart? I'm just cold. What the f- Yo. Yeah, hold on. No, no, no. I don't like mine toasted very much. Should I pop your I, for I forgot you guys were here. Yeah. We're eating. I just cut up some strawberries because since I have dance, I'm literally not going to be home. And then I go to my eyelashes. I'm not going to be home till like 3-ish. So I'm going to be starving. And then dance always makes me super hungry and tired. So I bought strawberries for like that sugar, you know. And because skinny. But we're having a bagel right now and coffee. So I'll show you guys our breakfast when we're done. This is our breakfast. We're so cute. Oh, also guys, I decorated for Christmas. Right, like it was literally, I think like two days after Halloween. <laughs> I was decorated. Um, but I had all this stuff from last year so I didn't have to like spend any money. My favorite part is that part with the dangling snowflake. He just annoyed the shit out of me and he's gonna laugh and just drink coffee like nothing happened. I had, I had nothing will happen. He was singing a song. And I told him I can get copyrighted for it, and then he just sang it louder. I was freestyling. Freestyling someone else's song? He really sucks at freestyling, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you. Mm. We're going to go pick out... Oh, this is his purse, his new purse, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking real nice. We're going to pick out a washer, a dryer, a dishwasher, a stove, and a fridge. And I'm... Really, I think we already have a microwave, so. Bro, imagine being a squirrel and just being able to climb up walls and shit. So, <laughs> um, I'm really excited to pick out a fridge. We need one with a big, big freezer. And I want one with like the water and the ice dispenser. And then I also want an extra one for like Diet Pepsi. Yeah, we're gonna fill up the water one with just Diet Pepsi. I w that'd be dope if they had one where you could fill it with whatever you wanted. So you could have like Diet Pepsi or like next, next week you'd have vodka. I can get vodka, orange juice, ice. That'd be blessed. I'd be drunk all the time. <laughs> it's Black Friday, so hopefully they have like some type of deal, like buy three appliances, get one half off or some shit. That'd be great. Because this would be a fat chick. And I'm kind of nervous. Bye. Hey guys. So we're out of the money stealing place. <laughs> um, For us. So, with a washer, no, not a washer. We're not doing the washer and dryer. But a fridge, I love our fridge. The fridge is nice. The fridge is so dope. It's got like a dark tint in the plastic. It looks really good. Yeah, and there's a lot of room. And the dishwasher is cool. It's got like a top rack, and then it pops open when it's done, so it airs it out. <laughs> <laughs> and then our stove is cool, I guess. It's whatever. Um, is it the one that, it's the one that has like the three things, right? So it can go from small to big? What? The stove? Yeah, yeah, it's got three levels. Yeah, which is dope. That's a big ass rack coming on the ground. Um, oh, and it's faster at cooking. And By like 20%. I so. can put stuff, three things on the rack. So I can make like potatoes, chicken. Cookies. And, <laughs> and cookies all at once. Yeah. But we're not getting a washer and dryer yet because we don't really need one and I'm so close to my mom's like I'm literally a two-minute drive from my mom's at my new house So we're just gonna use that for a while and try to get a good deal I really don't care about a washer and dryer to be completely honest like I don't I don't have fancy enough clothes Like if I was like a real estate agent and I needed like blouses and stuff then whatever but I'm always in leggings and a hoodie so yeah. It doesn't really affect me at all. Yeah, and I just wear the same I just wear my clothes for like five weeks before I wash them so <laughs> who needs it, right? <laughs> you know. But I realized. By the way, this is a, a, a not a cabbage patch or a fucking piece of lettuce. Tell them what it is. It's a Grim Reaper. It ain't a head of lettuce. Someone commented saying, this lo looks like a head of lettuce. <laughs> I'm like, bro. <laughs> I love it. Thanks. I love his hand tat. I think it's so hot. 
It literally makes me really hot. Yeah. I'll pipe you later. Yeah. <laughs> I realized that my purse is the price of my fridge. Yeah. So, so that little that freaked me out a little bit. Actually, it's the price of all three together. So if you want to buy a Louis purse, you pay shipping. <laughs> Anyways, I think the total the total wasn't as, wasn't even as close to as bad as I thought it was gonna be. No. Not even close. I was expecting at least two thousand dollars like, per thing. We're gonna probably use like native status. Yeah. Oh, left, left, left. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah. I know. I do. Yeah, you do. You just go straight. I would have just went straight. Yeah. I mean, and then. This way's faster. Okay. I'm not dropping him off, and then I'm going to dance. So I'll vlog a little bit and dance. And then after dance, you guys are gonna see me dead as fuck. Cause I'm literally gonna like die. Yeah. And then I'm getting my lashes done. And you're gonna get dick. Hey guys, so I just got out of dance and then I drove straight to my eyelash place because I am going to be late. I have five minutes to get in there and I stopped me for parking. Um, but dance was really good. I burned 300 and something calories at dance today, which is like crazy because it takes me like an hour on a treadmill to burn that um but dance is so different you're moving different parts of your body and your heart rate is constantly elevated so that was really fun it was so good to be back in dance i just mentally feel better like it was one dance session and i just mentally feel better i feel ready to conquer the world i feel like my day has started well i really really miss going and getting active and that was a good reminder of why i used to do it so dance is back in business um now it's time for me to go get my lashes done so these are my lashes before they're pretty sparse and it's not her fault it's because i was on vacation so they're pretty bad but we're gonna go in there and get my lashes done and i'll come back out and i'll show you so i am so irritated anyways wait first of all my lashes are done as you can see they're a lot more full and i'm so excited because i feel like a bad bitch again um anyways i am so irritated i walked out and as i'm walking out to my car this girl is giving me a ticket and I'm like swear I paid for two hours but I guess I only paid for an hour and a half and my eyelashes took two hours well if you guys know anything about eyelashes when your eyes are closed you can't open them to check the time you can't like just get up like you'd have to like take off all the pads like once you're down for eyelashes you are not getting up until you're done and like I was literally I think I calculated I was like 24 minutes late and like I would have just paid for another hour if she really really wanted me to but like giving me a ticket was a little fucking excessive especially because i walked out on her giving it to me and i was like girl like i could not open my eyes to check the time and like you're lucky i even fucking paid like do you know how many people come and don't even pay at all and like i get it's her job and there's nothing she can do about it she has to just do her job so i didn't give her that much of a hard time but like i was just so irritated because literally like if I i'm really good with like like i have no driving tickets i have no tickets this is my first ticket ever like and i've been driving for four years I'm just so irritated, but whatever. I already paid the ticket off. I literally, like, right when she gave it to me, I was like, you know what, fine. I'm just going to go online right now and pay it off. Ugh. She's like, sorry, you're a minute too late. I'm like, girl. Honestly, I kind of feel bad for her. Like, I'm heated, and I watched a guy go right up, up to her right after and be like, hello, like, I'm, like, two minutes late. And, like, I get it's her job, but, like, I would hate to have that job. I don't think I would do it. Like, if somebody offered me that job to give parking tickets out to get parking enforcement person hell no i would not do that i would feel bad people would get mad at me i couldn't do that there's no way i could do that job i wouldn't even be able to sleep at night like what if someone was really really like in debt and like you just gave them a 20 dollar parking ticket when they were over by like 10 minutes you know like i get if they have like no if they didn't pay for parking at all okay that's rude other people are parking and paying you should too but if you're like 20 minutes late shit happens maybe you took a shit maybe you were shitting longer than you expected and you're not just gonna slurp up your shit half mid half mid through a shit you're just gonna just clench your ass and have the shit come back up and just get off the toilet to go pay your fucking parking ticket and then go back and take a shit like that's not how it works sometimes you're stuck on the toilet sometimes you're stuck sometimes you're just stuck yeah i get it if it's an hour if it's two hours if the person didn't pay at all I get it, but being a little fucking late is a little excessive. Do you know how many McDoubles I could have bought with that ticket? I might just have someone drive me and pick me up because this is like not it. Especially because sometimes I have, this is my first time getting a fill by the way, so I didn't know how long this girl took taking a fill. I've had 
full sets from her but I've never had a fill from her so I didn't know how long every single eyelash girl is different like some people take 45 minutes some people take an hour some people take an hour and a half some people take two hours you never know how long it takes for someone to do a fill on your eyes so I assumed an hour and a half was a good amount of time anyways Josh wants me to make peanut butter cookies tonight so I think that's what I'm gonna do which sucks because peanut butter cookies are like my weakness and I could actually eat a hundred peanut butter cookies if someone dared me to and you know what I'm daring myself to eat a hundred peanut butter cookies today oh that girl's really pretty and her hair's really nice and her jacket's really nice and her kids cute okay bitch go the fuck off living her best life this coffee is from this morning that you saw me and Josh drinking um, and it's cold now, so I guess it's a nice coffee. Isn't it weird how like if a coffee was hot when you started drinking it and then it turned cold, you're like, ew. Like I'm drinking co a cold coffee. But iced coffee is good, like it doesn't make any sense. But I'm gonna drink it and just pretend it's an iced coffee because I don't want to waste it. Although it doesn't really seem like I need coffee right now. I'm pretty awake. What I've been noticing too a lot, um, I've been eating healthier ever since the cruise and I've noticed I have a lot more energy I'm not, it's not even that I'm eating, but I'm actually eating less. Like, I should be eating a little bit more probably. Like today I had that bagel with the, this is the rest of the coffee, and then I had some strawberries, and it's three o'clock in the afternoon. I've been up since eight. So I should have had lunch, um, and I did not because I was, I literally went from place to place to place, but I'm like mind blown at how good I feel. I haven't had that much of an appetite. So I don't really know what's happening. This is really cold. I'm just gonna pretend it's iced coffee and not think about it. I don't know if I should stop at the store and like make some high-end peanut butter cookies. I usually just make the cheap ones that are in the back of um, a craft peanut butter box. Not craft peanut butter box. A craft peanut butter container. It's like an egg, a cup of sugar, and a cup of peanut butter or something and you just mix that all together and it makes peanut butter cookies but they're not like the best peanut butter cookies and I don't know if I want to like just go get something to actually make peanut butter cookies like a kit kind of thing to make better ones or if I want to find an online recipe where it, it is like with some vanilla and some like flour or I don't really know but I'm gonna look and see a couple uh a couple months ago, this guy just gave me like this stare of like, I don't know. Um, a couple months ago, this, I made these peanut butter cookies and then I made Nutella ones. And the Nutella ones was like flour, Nutella, and like a couple other things. I saw it on like Tasty or something. And when I tell you it tasted so bad, it tastes like straight flour and I promise you I followed the recipe. I promise you I followed the recipe. But Nutella cookies sound so good and like, I kind of want to find a recipe and just surprise Josh with those because he loves, loves Nutella just like me. So maybe I'll find Nutella cookies and a different recipe. <laughs> um, anyways. Update, I'm home and I'm eating a salad and I took a bite without showing you guys. I think I showed you guys yesterday how I watered down my dressing. So that's what I did today. I have a tomato and some mixed greens that I got at um, Joseph's Produce. I showed you guys, there were like three containers for five or something crazy, so I got that. And then I have tuna instead of shrimp. I have no shrimp left. I did not meal prep. Um, I ran out of meal prep yesterday, but I didn't meal prep any more food because I have to go to um, dinner tomorrow with my dad. And then on Sunday is usually family day and me and Josh are going to cook pork chops and have a little date night where we cook together and have wine on Sunday so I don't really need to meal prep until Sunday night for the rest of the week so I'm not meal prepping so I just have a can of tuna in here half a can and yeah super good guys I did Olivia's makeup uh, do you guys like it she looks so bomb she's going to 12 bars she's going downtown clubbing without me cool love that bye <laughs>